Michael Douglas, Douglas Lawn Care here. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day today. Uh, it is raining outside right now, so I just decided, you know what? I might as well make another YouTube video and give you guys a review on my new 3M Bluetooth AM FM headphones. I have used these for about three weeks now. I did not want to give you a review right away just because I wanted to get some um, runtime out of these to know how comfortable they were um, and to know how well they performed. About three weeks ago when I bought these headphones, I opened them out of the package and I was highly disappointed. Uh, I really thought somebody had stolen the rechargeable batteries in the cord out of the package. Um, but I did a little bit more research and found out that the lithium battery, the rechargeable battery that goes in this headphones is sold separately. Very disappointing. I, I think I am going to purchase the lithium uh, rechargeable battery pack just because I use these headphones uh, regularly. So I wanted to test the AA batteries out that are in the 3M headphones just to see how long they would last. Um, this is about two or three weeks of me running my lawn care schedule, running just these headphones, not the Isotune Pros that go in the ear, just these headphones. Um, and I'm about two to three weeks and the battery is very low and I need to replace those batteries. So if you're running these on a constant basis, um, almost every day, I would highly recommend going to get that, uh, spend that extra money and buying the lithium battery. So once you get the Bluetooth connection set up on your phone, this uh, 3M headphones, that it connects pretty instantaneously to your phone. Uh, basically, you just press this button here, hold it in, and it'll turn on. It says power on. Um, and if your Bluetooth is on, it'll say Bluetooth connected. Right now, I don't know if you can hear that or not, but it is on the radio. If you hit your source button right here, we'll hit it once, see if you guys can hear it. Now we're on AM. Now where it goes to Bluetooth, you hit it one more time. And FM. Um, so you got AM, FM, and Bluetooth when you hit the source button. Reason that I wanted to buy these headphones, um, I wanted AM, FM radio to listen to the local radio stations, to listen to my sports channels. And I also wanted something Bluetooth to connect to my phone, to listen to Pandora. Um, and one of the main reasons is phone calls guys um you can take phone calls off of this it has a built-in microphone on here and comparing this between the isotune pro 2s um the call quality is better on these i'm not sure 100 percent why but uh the person on the other end of the phone hears you pretty well. Um, on the Isotune Pro 2s, you have to idle everything down and the person on the other end doesn't hear you very well. You still have to idle your machine down. I mean, you can sit on your mower, idle it down, talk to somebody with these headphones and they can hear you fine. You do not have to shut your equipment off. Um, if you're trimming with the weed whacker or whatever you have on, a blower, if it's idled down, uh, somebody on the other end can hear you fine. Now, if you are running these um, with your mower all the way up, um, you can hear whoever's talking on the other end, but they cannot hear you really well. My last pair of headphones was a Stanley, um, and it did not have all the uh, capability that this headphone here does. This has a two-hour shutoff, with a, which I uh, think that's a great idea. So if you accidentally leave the 3M uh, headphones on, it will shut off after a two-hour period. Um, there is a low-power battery warning. Like I said, I do need to replace the batteries because it, my headphones keep telling me that I need to replace them. If you look on the top of the headphones here, it has this rubber piece and I actually found this out by accident it will pop right out and the reason this rubber piece pops out is so you can put it on the top right there part of my bald head with that ball on the top of your hat so um, that will go right there just makes it a little bit more comfortable I don't um, use it I keep the rubber piece in because the way I have my headphone sitting um, they're towards the back behind that ball um, so it's not a big deal for me I don't want to get too in-depth in how this um, works and all the functions on this because if you guys do uh, purchase this yourself uh, go ahead and read the instructions but you press this button right here to turn it on it says power on the light turns on um, the source button obviously switches back and forth from AM FM and Bluetooth 
to turn it down, actually, um, you take this button, the power button, and turn it to the left. And now it's all the way down. Turn it all the way to the right. You hear the beep. That means it's all the way up. We're going to turn it off because it's really annoying right now because it's on, um, I think, AM. And I don't have that program set up. Uh, but we have a function button here to preset your uh, radio stations. Um, what is really annoying um, and I don't like about these headphones. We'll turn it on real quick. Power on. If you want to scroll through uh, and find a radio station that you want that is not preset, you have to turn this dial. 88.7. So let's say you wanted to go to 103.3. So you have to guess how far you're going to go. 90.9. So you got to keep going. 93.3. So you got to keep going even more. So you're still at 95. And then you go even more. And then you're probably too far. At what I guess my point is what I'm saying. It just takes a long time to find your radio station. Um, I really wish that this guy had a um, display right here. And instead of a turn knob on my Stanley headphones, you had clicks on each side and you could see um, what radio station you were on. So you didn't have to guess exactly where you were at. Um, that is very frustrating. At the same time, if you do preset those um, stations and you only have a handful of stations that you want to listen to, it's not the end of the world because you can just press the button and it automatically goes to the station that you want it to go to. Um, but if you are searching for a station that's not on your preset list, right now I don't have anything on my preset list because I've only had this for um, three weeks and I haven't set any of that up yet. It's very annoying scrolling through the stations without a display. One of the last things that I want to go over about the 3M headphones, is it comfortable? Um, I've had headphones in the past, Stanley headphones, like I said, um, they were comfortable, but they hurt your head after a while. Um, to be 100% honest with you, I've been wearing these for three weeks straight and I don't think I can continue to only wear these. I do have the Isotune Pro 2s, um, on my smaller properties, I will throw these on and on my bigger properties, I'm going to put the earplugs in, uh, the Isotune Pro 2s just because I don't really want to be wearing these all day, 24 seven, um, five days a week. Now, if you're not wearing it that often, yes, they are very comfortable. Um, after the end of the weekend, I found that on Monday, I can wear these all day Monday, they're fine. Uh, by Tuesday, um, half the day on Tuesday to Wednesday, my head's starting to hurt a little bit. My jaw starts to hurt a little bit. Um, it's just putting a lot of pressure on your face. Um, but I am wearing these, uh, I'm wearing these a lot. I tested them out for three weeks straight and I probably had them on um, at least five hours a day, if not longer. Um, so if you're not having them on for that long, um, that many days, you know, the comfort wise is very comfortable. Um, and you won't have a problem with these. I really hope this review helped you out. If you are in the market for 3M headphones, uh, would I buy this product again? Yes, I would buy this product again. It's a very well-made product. Um, I will leave a link in the description below um, of this product. It is a little bit more expensive um, just because you can take calls. It has AM, FM radio. Um, I know 3M also makes a headphone that doesn't have all these capabilities. So this one is, I think, um, on the top of the line, the more expensive one. Um, so I will leave a link in the description below so you know exactly which one I'm talking about. And if you do actually end up clicking that link, I do have an Amazon affiliate program that I'm in. Uh, so I will get, I don't know, maybe like two pennies if you purchase this. So I would be internally grateful for your two pennies if you purchase this <laughs> through my Amazon link. Um, but in all seriousness, thanks guys for watching. Um, I will also leave a link in the description below to the Isotune Pro 2s as well. Um, if you're not 100% sold on the over the ear muffs, uh, and, uh, maybe you're considering something that goes in the ear instead. So Michael Douglas, Douglas Lawn Care. Thanks for watching. Have a great one. God bless. Uh, see you in the next one.